Hey traders, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the Futures Market Outlook for the week starting with today, uh, May 12th, uh, 2019. And uh, let's get started. Currently it's 7 p.m. Eastern and the market has been open for about one hour and uh, we can see that the market has gapped down uh, and uh, the S&P is down 23 points right now. We have uh, the Dow that is down 193 points. We have NASDAQ that is down 72 points and we have Russell that is down about 14 points right now. Uh, let's get started with our analysis for the week and some trade ideas that um, uh, may be ready to go for, uh, may be ready to go starting with the overnight and going into tomorrow's trading session. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out to the uh, to the weekly charts. Uh, this is last week's trading activity. You could see that we pretty much retracted into the 28.23 area, which is minor support for current price action. So we bounced off of this area into Friday. So you could see that we have a lot of resistance from these prior highs uh, that were from last year, and in fact from October, November, and also December. So we have three highs right here that are currently holding the support uh, price to action here into the 20s, 2820s. All right, the price is open and it's trading below the 10 exponential moving average. You can see that where the price is trading, when I zoom my cursor to the left-hand side, you can see that we have the prior high here. This was the high uh, from where the volatility has started, and uh, that is into the 28, uh, 75 to, to 80 zone. So this is, uh, again, a critical level. If the price should get above this high this week, then we're gonna be looking for a transition higher. All right, let's move on to the daily charts. And the daily chart, we had two days right here where we have revisited lower prices, prices that have been revisited uh, in the months of March. So we're back into March territory and we zipped up very, very quickly. Uh, now trading right into this 50 simple moving average. Should this week come back up, price may come back up, if the price may come back up to the 29.93, 25.95 area, we could see a really nice reversal. And uh, this may push the price higher. However, it's gonna have a lot of turbulence from these dynamic uh, resistance levels here from the 20 simple moving average and the 10 exponential moving average. And also this price cluster to the left hand side of the chart. Primarily as a day trader, I'm going to be focusing on a bit smaller time frames. Going to start moving in uh, that are pretty much going to move in sync uh, with uh, uh, with uh, price. But um, I'm going to be looking at this 200 simple moving average here that uh, basically is creating a lot of resistance. So not only that, we ha we have a strong confluence zone created by the 200 simple moving average and from these prior highs that you can see here from earlier in the week. And this is from Wednesday. So once if we trade and once we trade over the 28, uh, uh, 2895, uh, then we can have a confirmation that the price may be getting ready for a move higher. Also, we're still holding the support into the 50s. So the price literally sandwiched between 28.50 and 28.95. Let's move on to the one hour chart. And the one hour chart, you could see the lower highs and the lower lows. We've basically down, so we're basically downtrending on the one hour. We found support, like I said, here into the 25 from the weekly and we reversed really, really hard. We had the first one hour reversal trading above the 40s. This is a trade that we've done on Friday and uh, it worked out pretty well for us. So uh, we had the trade uh, over 40 and uh, we managed to 
uh, trail out of the trade into these highs right here. So we had a really nice move to the upside. Now, the price, as you could see, it has gapped down, but it's still trading between Friday's low and Friday's high. First hour of trading, we don't have a lot of participation, only the Asian session still very, very early. And we don't have a lot of releases that are coming out tonight. And also, uh, not a lot of releases uh, in the early hours of the morning, that is uh, from the London session. Uh, and uh, as long as this one hour candle is gonna be here, so if you're an overnight trader, if you're trading the London session, I would wait for a range to develop here. Should the price trade below uh, this uh, one hour candle, I would wait for a consolidation or for a breakdown into the 29.50. I would wait for another consolidation or possible reversal off of this point and a move higher. Right now, this is going to be our gauge, the high low of this one hour candle. So over 28.70, it may be the price may be projecting higher into the 80s and back into the 90s. And like I said, I'm not going to be very um aggressive on shorting this move just because we're still trading within uh within friday's range and we're also trading within thursday's range so we have a lot of support here uh like i've mentioned that is deriving from the weekly chart so i'm not going to do anything to the downside no shorting for me at this point uh and uh, i'm more focused to see if we can have uh, more room to the upside. Like I said, I don't trade the overnight trading session. Don't trade the Asian session for today, at least with this setup that we have. And uh, I don't trade the London session. So things are going to be probably a little different when, uh, when we wake up uh, and trade the New York trading session. But I'm going to look more for the upside of this momentum right here to take the price back into the 90s. Uh, I'm not excluding the fact that if we break 55, we may come in a little bit more into the 50s, maybe scalpable territory into the 50s from 55 to 50. And then uh, further on, we may have another room to the 40s and perhaps into the 30s. So these are the incre increments that I see the price navigating in the m and &E SMP. Like I said, I don't trade the overnight trading session. I don't like the way it is setting up right now with the gap down. So I'm going to be waiting for uh, the New York trading session open. All right, let's move on to NASDAQ. And uh, let's uh, zoom out to the weekly chart. And let's see what we have going on. All right, let me just take these uh, drawings off real quick. All right, here we go. We're still trading within last week's trading range and we're trading into the 10 exponential moving average. You can see that we have gapped down from the daily chart. I'm gonna, you're gonna see it better from the hourly chart, but from the daily chart, the price is trading right now into minor support and strong confluence area, 75.40. Support deriving from this prior high, creating minus support at this price level. So there's going to be a decision that is going to be made here. And most of the indices are still holding these support levels. And you cannot ignore these support levels, especially when you're dealing with a super trend that has been going on on these major time frames. So uh, I'm more I'm favoring a more of an upside than a downside move. So uh, if this week we're going to be trading above 76 uh, 60 and in the upcoming days this is going to provide a really nice pullback buy off the 20 uh, i'm sorry off the 50 uh simple moving average that can bring the price back up into the 7800 let's see some uh actionable trading ideas possible for the overnight so this is the first hour of trading and like i said it's 709 i've waited i've waited a little bit because i had a feeling that the market is either going to gap up or gap down uh, through the weekend. So I wanted to wait. That's why I exited our long S&P position on Friday. All right. So um, if the price should get above 52, so this candle holds a lot of information because it's still trading on support right here. So as long as the support is going to hold into the 20s, if the price is going to trade over 53, 53 and a half, 
we may still have room for a progression higher back into the 75 and back into the 7600 as long as the price is going to trade within this range within this one hour bar things are going to be very much sideways we break below 7520 uh, I think that we may move lower into the 7,500. So we have about 20 points here, uh, tradable void, and then another, uh, it could possibly slide into the 7,488. So like I said, for the day trader, look, for the day trader, look for this one hour candle low and high, trade above, I favor more, uh, definitely I favor more at the upside. All right, let's move on to, um, uh, let's move on to the Dow, a mini Dow. All right, and okay, let's take this out. Okay, all right, so the a mini Dow, let's move it to the weekly chart. The weekly chart, you can see that it's trading within prior week's low and high. All right, so we're right here, still standing on support, 25,772. All right, so with that being said, Let's move on to the daily. Daily, double bottom right here. Actually, double bottom, really nice support into the 25,500. Double tap on Thursday and on Friday. And we managed to trigger a little bit to the upside over 26,000. However, price again today um, gap, uh, gap down. And currently it's trading at 773. Uh, if throughout this night or going into tomorrow we're going to trade over 26 uh 26 130 uh, i'm sorry 26 so 30 we may have room for a progression higher into the 26 uh 26 uh, 100 200 and even 308 right here into this area uh even for higher for the rest of the week back into the 500 this is uh setting really nice for a pullback buy so I think uh, patience is going to be the essence to wait for the right formation. Uh, not a great bias for the overnight trading session because we're trading within an inside bar and um, this may not offer a lot of continuity. I would be focused more on the four hour chart and the one hour chart as you're heading into the overnight trading session. Uh, over 25, 815, price may snap back up into the 25,905 and back into the 2600. If the price just slide below 25,600, it may, it may uh, come in a little bit into the 644, even a 600 and back into the 500 area again. Uh, let's take a look at Russell. And uh, Russell also, you can see the gap down here on the hourly, but let's zoom out to the weekly chart. Weekly chart still back into this cluster. We've navigated and we've talked about for weeks, we've talked about the possible uh, extension higher if we break 1600, it didn't do much. So it just went 20 points and it didn't retract the price, retracted back into the range. We're still having a lower high right here as long as the price is gonna navigate and stabilize within where it is trading right now into the 64, we may still have a chance for a continuation higher. If the price should get back into the 1600, we're gonna be back, we're gonna be resuming our bullish bias for this index, and we're gonna to try to look for some more long opportunities. All right, with that being said, bam, the one hour, one hour high and low, we have it right here, 1560. Uh, and 15 uh, for the low and 1570 for the high. We break 70, we have room for progression higher into the 75, so there's a, a, there are five points into it this, and then we have a lot of room for progression higher into the 80. So again, 70, target 75, and then look for the 80s, you contingent on triggering over 70. So this is in nowhere land right here. We break below 60, we can possibly come back 10 points in into the 15, uh, 50 area. Let's take a quick look at gold. I really like, and I have been, uh, I have been, um, uh, I have been looking at this chart and I, I have to say I really like the way gold is uh, uh, the, the way gold is setting up right here. Last week we had a little trigger higher. Uh, it went up to the 1292 area, upper 1292 and then it retracted back again. And now we're hovering into this area. This is very bullish and I have explained this uh, a lot of times. 
Uh, we're coming from a low. By the way, this is a monthly chart. So this is a low, higher low, and we have a higher low right here, and we're just trying to establish another higher low. Over 1316, this is going to be very bullish, and I'm going to even set an alert. Alert. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, above. All right, here it is. I'm going to set an alert if we if the price is going to trade again into this 13 and the high is actually 1315. So if the price to trade into the 1315, I'm going to go long and uh, I'm going to look for targets, longer term targets all the way into the 50s. Um, the weekly charts, weekly charts, like I said, I like the grind here. So we had one, two, three weeks so far, holding the lows into the 66, rotating a little bit higher here. Again, the first clue is going to be if the price is gonna be able to um, trade over the 90s. If it, trades, if it trades over the 90s, I could still see a lot of room for the upside into the 1300. 1316, this is gonna be a big trigger for higher and uh also into the 1340s if you want to take the trade remember you could also if you have smaller account size small uh, account size individuals can trade minis or micro gold and uh, you actually have better flexibility when you're doing that you have the possibility to add on to the trade to scale in definitely to scale in to scale out etc so there are uh, multiple opportunities but if you want to get it uh, a bit earlier uh print over this high over uh over last week's high of 93 um and uh, a risk level so i would really that uh and again this is for large uh for i'm sorry i'm sorry for small account holders because this risk is substantial uh and this is the support zone that we're watching um definitely you need to give it a little bit of wiggle room as it's going higher so using a mini or a micro smaller account holders you could do this Large account holders, definitely you can look by 193, but, uh, 193 by 166 and a half and look for a continuation higher. Like I said, 1300 is that median line uh, that is going to be the decisive factor for higher or lower. If the price is not gonna stumble into that 1300, we could see a push over that 1300. The next target is gonna be 1320 and a continuation higher into the 1340s and 1350s. I really like the way gold is trading right now. Um, by the way, the four hour chart, you could see it. Let me just give it a little bit of time here. Okay, you could see that we're getting this price condensation all the way into the 90s. Uh, we have a really choppy transition higher, but again, don't forget we have the declining 200 simple moving average that's why we need to wait right now for the 9 1293 that's the trigger point all right so uh one more crude for tonight and we're done uh we're gonna move to uh the monthly chart obviously monthly monthly chart you could see here very bullish price action we had one two three four months to the upside and right now the catalyst is going to be this uh, candle low right here if we break below 6013 i'm going to set an alert 6013 this is going to be a short 6013 let me just put it right on the dot here i'm going to put it at 14 a little bit earlier all right um so if we trade below 6013 we're going to go lower most likely we're going to hit into 55 this is going to be the target 55 as long as we're trading within this range right here in crude, we may actually continue higher. I'm gonna show you why. So this is, remember, the monthly chart, the weekly chart. I'm gonna take it one step at a time. You see this doji right here? This is what I'm gonna be watching. So if the price is gonna hold the $60, right? We need to hold the $60. You can see right now, this is the brand new week, still very early into the week, like we're literally one hour into the week. Uh, but we have a really nice doji. We have a topping tail and pullback doji. High uh, is 60. Uh, high is 62.95. Uh, 62 if we break above 62.95, we're going higher. 62.95 is going to represent the trigger for higher for a possible swing. Low will represent, and this is a swing trade idea. Uh, the low is going to be the $60.14, below $60.14 for the risk. 
We're going to look for a continuation higher into this. Uh, first target is going to be into the $64.35. The second target is going to be into the $65. And the third target is going to be into $66. And we're going to manage it from there. Remember, I like to use lots because I like to scale in and scale out in uh, into these uh, into these target areas. But this is going to be my, t my trigger for higher. Okay, so I'm going to get all my... Uh, all my position here and I'm going to look to scale out as we're going uh, as we're going higher all right th this is just something that I do uh, and uh, uh, based on these uh, based on these triggers daily chart daily chart I love the fact that it's consolidating here very look at this bottom right here into the $60 is trading into these highs minor support price uh price bounced and we're trading inside 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 day all right so we're getting a very bullish triangle here very very bullish so uh first sign is going to be a trade over and this is going to be a, a quicker alert um and the first sign is going to be over 62.50 gonna put another alert here into the 62.50 we get this alert Okay, you could actually start scaling in here at the rest at the weekly uh, at the weekly trigger. So this is going to be my first sign for longs. If we trade below 60, like I said, because we're in a range, things uh, uh, there are two facets, right? So over uh, over the prices that I've mentioned, we're bullish below 60. We're going to be bearish. All right, this is all for tonight. Hope you enjoyed uh, the analysis and I wish you are going to have a fantastic and positive and uh, profitable trading week. Uh, thank you and uh, looking forward to talking to you guys next week. If you have questions, feel free to email us at info at tradeoutloud.com. Also, if you're interested in our classes or the trading room, you could visit our website. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day and happy Mother's Day.